Hello. In this video, we will be looking at media setup. Media setup is how your images are laid out when imported. The default settings for the apparel printing is to use templates, as templates gives a lot of control for automatic positioning and sizing of graphics. You can select different default templates for each queue from the drop down list in the smart bar area when in the queue mode. My standard board template currently selected shows in the preview the total board size and the actual print area inside. When I import a graphics, my template will automatically position the graphics to the center of the page. If I bring in a graphics that was too big for the print area, the image is automatically scaled to fit. You can use templates to lay out multiple images. For example, I have a template board that allows me to lay out and print two t-shirts at a time. By selecting my double XL board, I can see the board area and the two t-shirt print areas. This allows me to add two separate graphics, one for each t-shirt. As the neck of the t-shirt would be positioned on the left, this template rotates the graphics on import so that they are correctly positioned for printing. If you switch between different boards in the same queue a lot, you can have the software prompt you every time you import a graphics to select the template you want to use. To enable the software to prompt you on each import, go to Queue Properties. Click on the Layout Manager and click on Show Import Template Job dialog. Select OK. Now, whenever a graphics is added to the queue, it will prompt me so I can select which template to use. Express will use the currently selected template. Select allows me to select the template, and if there are multiple slots, which slot I want to use. You can create your own new templates or edit existing ones. I'm going to create a new standard board template based on my existing one, but where my graphics will be positioned at the center top instead of the middle of the board. Select the standard board template and then click on the three dots to edit the template. I'm going to give this template a new name, Standard Board Neck. The slots are the print areas, and I can click on the slots in either list view or preview to select it. Then for this slot, change my alignment to top middle. Click update to update the slot and save as to create my new template. If I import a graphics now to my new template, it will position the graphics at the top middle. If we take a look at a double XL board template, we can see that it has multiple slots. Each slot can be separately positioned 
and sized. You can also choose alignment options, rotation options and scaling options for each slot separately. The slot label indicates if a slot should be unique or a duplicate. Currently I have slots 1 and 2 which allows me to import different graphics for each t-shirt. If I change my slots so they are both slot 1 then the same graphics will be used for both t-shirts. Templates are great, as they provide automation and consistency for your t-shirt production, reducing operator error. But if you want complete freedom to lay out multiple jobs on a single board, you can use the Fix Sheet mode. To switch a queue to Fix Sheet mode, select Queue Properties and click on Media Setup. Select Fix Sheet Media and then select your board size. You can now lay out multiple jobs on a single sheet. Each job will by default be imported onto a new sheet. To move a graphic between sheets, hold down the control key when dragging the graphics in the preview mode. In fixed sheet mode, you have a lot more layout tools, such as cropping and tiling. You can also create copy groups of an individual graphics. Change the spacing within the copy group of each graphic. If you want complete freedom from a layout perspective, Fix Sheets will give you the ability to lay out multiple jobs wherever and however you wish.